I realized I was transgender when I was younger, around the age of like five, but I never really knew what it was called. You know that you're like, okay, I want to be a female, but at the time I didn't know like that was called trans. I had a doctor, Dr. Mazur, who basically sat me down and I didn't know what trans was at the time. I didn't know the meaning of it or trans was a thing. So when we talked about it and we discussed, you know, my feelings and how I thought and the way I saw the world and how I saw myself when I was older, he basically looked at me and said, you know, you're transgender, this is like your title. My childhood was um, normal. I would hang out with, with my cousins and we would, you know, play games and stuff. I would ask them to call me she instead of he, and I played the character of Crystal. I was always known as Crystal playing childhood games. So when, you know, when I played the games, it was nice to hear, you know, she and her and everything. But the minute the game ended, I thought I was like playing another game in real life. When DJ came out and said that she was transgender, Honestly, we asked her, are you sure, or is this something that you're thinking about? Mm -hmm. um, are you sure this is something that you want? On the way to school, because my mom drives me to school, I was perfectly comfortable. I was happy. I'm like, you know, I'm going to go in full swing. And, you know, I was going to accept it and I was going to love it. And then we turned into the parking lot, and my heart dropped. I showed up with my hair curled, my makeup fully done, all girl clothes. And I did not look like myself. And I was scared, but my mom looked at me and said, you know, if you're happy, you're happy. If they don't like it, put on a smile and walk sassily away in your heels. It's a tough road, you can do it still, but it's a tougher road. Confidence is like the key to the city. It gives you everything you need. That's what I want people to realize, confidence is key.